Flooding we saw this weekend did not ruin a busy money maker weekend for business in Pell's Point. That's right. Jessica Albert spoke to businesses that are packed with customers and happy they didn't have major cleanup to do from those storms. Jess joins us live in Pell's Point. What can you tell us? Max and Rachel, it's Halloween and the weather has been nice here all evening. So obviously people are out in their costumes enjoying everything that Fells Point has to offer this evening. But I did talk to business owners that told me that they were worried that they were going to be washed out this weekend. Costumes and fall festivities are on full display in Fells Point for Halloween. This is a huge difference from what it was like here on Friday. Heavy rainfall caused the streets to flood. Cars were partially submerged on the street. Be more does that. We have storms one day and sun the next. WJZ spoke to several businesses and restaurants worried about the potential for flooding, ruining the busy Halloween rush. If the water spill and go inside, I think we're definitely going to close for the weekend. So, yeah, that's just pretty bad. But once the water receded, city workers spent Saturday cleaning up debris, making things perfect for Sunday. The chef at Nanami Cafe says after losing so much business during the pandemic, it's nice to have a busy Halloween weekend. And the businesses here in Fells Point, as you know, are usually prepared and ready for flooding. So they tell me that before this storm came, they got out sandbags and tarps to make sure that their businesses were protected. Reporting live in Fells Point, Jessica Albert for WJZ.